for our latest back to the fixture game would go back to Ewood Park in March 2014. It was Burnley's first win against Blackburn Rovers for 35 years. Thinking this could be the time, so close. Back in September, that late Jordan Rhodes goal gave Rovers an equaliser. Could this be Burnley's day? Rovers led through Jordan Rhodes and he should have made it 2-0 when he got on the end of a wayward back pass, only to hit the post. Ball inside for Lowe, Jason Lowe gets a delivery in there, Rhodes to take it down, chance for Rhodes, he scored, Rhodes have got the opener, and guess who, it's Jordan Rhodes on 24 minutes. Don't think the change is imminent, oh it's given away here by Jones, chance here for Rhodes to make it 2-0, could score here, he's in the post, massive let off. Burnley came back from there, Jason Shackle, the captain, got the equaliser from substitute Ross Wallace's free kick. It's now a one-man war, Wallace to deliver, gets it towards that back post, in there, equaliser, Clarence to level, oh and it's a fantastic goal in there, and it's the skipper again, Jason Shackle, great delivery from Ross Wallace, deja vu, it's the same as last year, and Jason Shackle has got the equaliser. And Wallace was involved in the winner, when Danny Ings fired past Paul Robinson to make it 2-1. Needs support, gets it from Arfield, good cross in there again. He's surveyed everybody has it, Wallace has a shot, has another chance in there. Stabs it back inside, will it fall for Ings? It will! 2-1 to Burnley! 25 for the season for Danny Ings! The game has turned on its head and Danny Ings has got it! Big goal for Burnley, Blackburn Rovers 1, Burnley 2, Danny Ings with a goal. Burnley were now eight points clear of third place Derby County and on their way back to the Premier League. Have a look at Mike Dean, the whistle has gone! Treasure the moment, the wait is over! 35 years in the making, Burnley have beaten Blackburn.